This is Valmiki Ramayan, Season 7, Episode 3, Vibhishan Joins Ram. After the showdown in Ravan's court, Vibhishan went to meet Ram. Four of his trusted associates went with him. How did he cross the ocean? Did he have a flying vehicle like Ravan? Valmiki mentions matter-of-factly that Vibhishan took the aerial route and quickly arrived at the Vanar camp. Remember, in Season 6, Episode 3, Hanuman had seen many Vimans flying vehicles parked outside Ravan's palace in Lanka. Once again, what you make of it is up to you. Purvavruttam, fact, or kathayuktam, poetic embellishment, Sugriv saw the Rakshasas approaching and was alarmed. Vibhishan was extremely well built, just like his brothers. Valmiki calls him Mahabala Bhimakarma. And the Rakshasas were all carrying arms. The Vana troops got ready to tackle this threat. But Vibhishan announced from a distance My name is Vibhishan. I am Ravan's younger brother. Ravan has kidnapped Sita. I told him to let her go, but he won't listen to me. Ram provides refuge to the whole world. Please tell him that Vibhishan seeks his protection. Sarvaloka Sharanyaya Vibhishanam Upasthitam Was Vibhishan a traitor? Vibhishan did switch sides. But remember, he left Ravan openly, announcing his departure in the court. And he did so for a good reason. Also, Ram had not induced him to leave. Vibhishan was no backstabbing traitor. But Ravan did feel let down. During the earlier showdown in the court, he ranted against Vibhishan for not supporting him even though they were brothers. Interestingly, Ravan called Vibhishan's behavior Anarya, not Arya-like. Once again, we see that the word Arya was used to denote a person of noble behavior in Ayodhya, in Kishkindha and in Lanka. Sukriv quickly went to see Ram and Lakshman and conveyed Vibhishan's message. But he also clearly stated his apprehension I don't think we can trust him. He may be here at Ravan's behest. He may create divisions among us or even try to kill us. It is just too risky. Ram acknowledged that Sugriv's concerns were valid. He asked others what they thought about the matter. Angad and Jambavan agreed with Sugriv. Vibhishan was not to be trusted. Sharab and Maind were unsure. They wanted to find out more. But Hanuman argued in favor of Vibhishan. He thought Vibhishan seemed genuine. And he had one vital piece of information the others did not have. Sita had told him about Vibhishan when Hanuman met her in the Ashokvan. Sita knew that this younger brother of Ravan was trying to secure her release. Hanuman said, Yujyate tasya sangraha. We should take him in. Ram was happy to hear that. He was also inclined to give Vibhishan the benefit of the doubt. Sukriv was still unsure and pointed out the many risks. But eventually, Ram managed to convince Sukriv and announced his decision. Anaya enam dattamasya abhayam maya. Please bring him to me. I grant him protection. Vibhishan came up to Ram and bowed at his feet. Ram heard his story and assured him that he was safe with them. Ram then asked him, Akhyahi mama tattvena rakshasanam balabalam. Tell me all about the strengths and weaknesses of the Rakshasas. Vibhishan then told Ram 
about Ravan and his army. Vibhishan's remarks confirmed what Ram already knew. Ram said to him, I recognize what Ravan is capable of. But I can tell you this with confidence. Aham hatva dashagrivam rajanam tvam karishyami. I shall kill Ravan and make you the king. Note Ram's outstanding leadership skills in the way he dealt with Vibhishan. Ram was open-minded about Vibhishan, even though Vibhishan was Ravan's brother. Ram asked his advisors for their opinion. He then showed decisiveness when the advisors had conflicting ideas. And he had the confidence to make a decision that was a risky call. He explained his logic and took everyone along, even those who had descended earlier. And finally, he immediately gave Vibhishan a chance to contribute and be a part of the team. Now contrast that with the way Ravan discussed matters with his advisors. He called them for consultations after the deed was done and he threw out anyone who dissented. Back in Lanka, Ravan was busy hatching a plot to create a rift between Ram and Sugriv. He sent an emissary to Sugriv with this message. O king of the Vanaras, you are like a brother to me. I have not harmed you in any way. Even though I have kidnapped Ram's wife, that does not concern you. Please return to Kishkindha. In any case, there is no way you can reach Lanka. While the emissary, Shuk, was delivering the message, the Vanaras caught him and started beating him up. Shuk protested that he was a messenger and that they should not harm him. When Ram heard the commotion, he told the Vanaras to release the messenger. Sukriv, on his part, asked Shuk to convey this reply to Ravan. O king of the Rakshasas, I am not your brother or your friend. Just wait and see. I am coming there with my massive army. I will kill you and all your people. I will destroy Lanka and reduce it to ashes. Sugriv's message was loud and clear. But what was still unclear was how they would cross over to Lanka in the first place. We shall see how the Vanaras overcome that challenge in the next episode. Iti, her, asa. That is how it happened. <laughs>